Good morning everybody and welcome to the strength workout. Uh, this is an intermediate workout where we're going to be focusing on developing your muscular strength and power. And we're going to be focusing on the technique and trying to push the muscles to failure to try and really cause damage and force the body to repair and get stronger over the next few days. So before we start, let's start mobilising the joints. So let's place our feet just outside shoulder width. Point your toes slightly outwards. And we're just going to try and slowly squat down as low as we can and hold. So slow squat, coming down really low, really low. Now place your hands on the floor palms facing forward. Now as if you can, if you've got the flexibility, push the palms to the floor. That's so good. And stand up. Okay, let's place the feet a little wider. Point the toes a bit more outwards and let's repeat the same process. Coming down low, low as we can, and try and touch your hands to the floor. And up, good. So now, back to the normal squat stance. We're going to squat down deep. As we come up to the top, bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee and come back down. Time begins now, so deep squat down. Coming up, rotate. Good. As we're primarily working on strength today, there isn't really a requirement to do much cardio. It's more about just getting the joints and the muscles mobile so that when we do go into the main workout, we're good to go. Let's do two more on each leg. Deep squat down. Come up and rotate. Good, okay. Our next move, we're going to lunge forward with our arms up in the air and push back. So, step forward to the left leg. And as you lunge down, bring your arms up and then push back to start position. Let's do the same on the other side. So, step forward, come low, bring your arms up and push up. Try to focus on pushing your hips forward each time you do so. Hips forward, arms up and back. This is a great exercise for opening up the hip flexors. Priming your body for squats and lunges. Good. Now we're going to rotate over that bent leg. So step forward, arm straight, come down, rotate over the leg that's bent, and push back. Same on the other side. One more on each side. Lunge forward, down, big rotation, and back.
and relax. Good. So, okay, our next move to open up. Rotating your body from one side through to the other. Pivoting the back foot. We're just going to do a little bit more mobility. And then we're going to get started to the fun stuff. Bring the knee up, open up, same on the other side. Okay, our next move, feet square. Bring your hands down to the floor. Bring your arms out, shoulder and a half width apart. Bring the left knee in. Kick up and drive it through. And bring that back knee low to the floor. Right hand touches the floor. Keep it here. Left side opens up. So here again another excellent move, just helps loosen up the muscles in your legs and your hips. Okay, so now, bring that leg back, right knee comes in, kick up, drive this foot through. Back knee low to the floor, left hand on the floor, open up in the right side. Hands back down to the ground, jump forward, feet up wide. I'm going to try and work on our squat mobility one more time. Trying to push as low as you can. Keep your knees in line with your toes. Come up and relax. Good. So guys, today we've got nine exercises I want to get through for working your chest, shoulders, arms, core, all the major muscle groups in the legs. Once we get through these nine exercises, we're going to take an extended break and then we're going to work our way back through them again. So our first exercise, we're doing press-ups. We're doing 15 full press-ups, so that's chest all the way down to the floor and up. Then 10 pulsing press-ups, where you do basically 20% of the movement. And then a hold, where you're basically stopping yourself from touching the floor. Quick demo. This is a full press-up. These are pulses. And this is an ISO hold. Okay? So we've got 15, 10, and 10. Get ready into position, guys. Hands, shoulder and a half width apart. Three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Pulses. And hold. And relax. Perfect. Okay, on to our next minute. 
So you see all the technique there, we try to really push the muscle to failure, give it everything we've got, then we're on to our next movement. So now we're doing a full body crunch. Fully extend the body, come up to the center and back. And after this we're going to do 30 seconds of negatives. Get ready into position. Time begins now. Try not to let your feet touch the floor if you can. Good, 10 more seconds. And relax, good. So now, feet on the floor, bring the upper body up, and we're going to take 30 seconds to lower to the floor. Time begins now. So, from here, slowly lower. Keep your body under control. So we need to get a position of real stress holding. Last few seconds. And down to the ground. And relax. Good. Let's stretch out the legs and arms. So now we're on to our next move. Side plank position. And we're simply going up and down for 45 seconds. Shoulders in alignment to your ankles. Time begins now. So hips up, slowly down to the floor and up. Twenty seconds to go. Remember to breathe out every time you bring your hips up. Let's change over to the other side. Time begins now. So you're trying to bring that hip within an inch off the floor, then raise up again. And that full range of motion engages the obliques. Fifteen seconds to go. Time perfect. So we're going into lunges. We're going to do uh, pulsing lunges and then an isometric hold. So a quick demo. Go one leg forward, one leg back. We're going to come down, hold for 10 seconds, and then we're going to do 10 repetitions, hold for another 10 seconds, and perform another 10 reps. Then we switch over to our other leg. Into position. Establish your balance, a little bit of daylight in between your feet. Keep this knee behind your toe. 
Time begins now. Come low. Two, one. Okay, up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, down and hold. And up and down for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, excellent. Quickly shake out your legs. Let's go to our other side. Right foot forward. Daylight between your feet, straighten everything up, and come down low for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, up and down for 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Down for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up and down for ten. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Shake your legs up. Now we're back onto the press ups. So our time frame we're going to work with is one minute. And we're going to slow down the negatives to try and maximize muscle tension. So we're going to take three seconds to come down and one second to explosively push up. Flexing your chest at the top when you do so. Repeat it for one minute consistently. So into position. Time begins now. So three, two, one, fire up. Good. Just over 20 seconds left. <clears throat> Time, perfect. So now we're on to the Spider-Man plank. So this is an advanced move. So to hold a plank position with your arms separated and bring our knees to the outside of each elbow. I'll do a quick demo. So this is what Spider-Man plank will look like. If that's too difficult, just hold the plank. That's actually fine. We're doing 12 reps on each leg. Time begins now. So, knee to the outside of the elbow and back. Right. 
coming up to the halfway. One more. Time, perfect. So now, we're gonna go into the iso hold squat for one minute, where we're just gonna stay low and hold the position. Then, we're gonna go into repetitions, where we take three seconds to come down, and one second to come up and squeeze the muscle. Straight after that, we've got 45 seconds of fast squats. So the next sequence is going to be almost three minutes doing different variations of the squat. So into position. Have your feet just outside shoulder width. Point the toes slightly outward. Time begins now. So bring yourself low. Low as you can and hold. And this is a good opportunity to push your flexibility. As you feel more loose, try and come down a little further. The lower you can go, the more we activate the glutes. Twenty more seconds to go. Okay, on to our next move. So come up. Three seconds down. And up. Good. Remember it's to flex the muscle. Slow controlled as you come down. And up and flex with your thighs and glutes at the top. Watch my breathing, I breathe in. Breathe out. That really helps the exercise. <clears throat> Final 10, guys. Good. Now we've got one minute of fast squats. Timing. So here, we're picking up the pace. Trying to complete as many squats as we can. Remember to flex the muscles. 30 seconds left. Final squat and try. Okay, our next move. We're on to the tricep press up. So, with this move, our press up before, our hands are roughly here. With these press ups, your hands are going to be here. And as you push back, your elbows are going to be tight to your side. You're going to push forward. The emphasis is on your triceps, these muscles there. 
So we're going to do 15, take a short rest, then we're going to do tricep press up into normal press up into tricep. So into position, hands shoulder width apart, 15 repetitions start now. and relax. So when we go into our next move, we're pushing out from the inside and then the outside. If this is a bit too challenging, you can do the same exercise from the knees, that's fine. Where you can be on the knees, push up, hands out like right so. So if you can, a little push up off the floor, if not, just do the rep, move your hands out, and then do the next rep, and so on. 15 repetitions again, into position. Time begins now. Keep working. Keep pushing through, guys. <clears throat> Let's try and get three more reps. time. Perfect. Okay, on to our last move. Then we get an extended rest. So for 45 seconds we're going to do the reverse plank. Give your arms a shake up. So when you do these, arms behind you, hips up in the air, glute squeeze, holding the position. Time begins now. So hands behind you, legs up in the air, and holding. Keep the glutes engaged, triceps engaged. Twenty more seconds to go. Four, three, two, and time. Perfect. Okay, let's have an extended rest, drink some water. So for our next move going to go into the sumo squat and we're going to come down as low as we can again for one minute and then we're going to do one minute of as many repetitions as we can. With the first stage, we're trying to work the muscle but we're also trying to improve the flexibility. So think wider than they were before when we did the squats and point the toes more outwards. Now three, two, one. Start coming down, time in, and you're holding. So keep the knees pointing in the same direction as your toes. Keep holding that position. Good. 
and try and push yourself as low as you can. You've got 15 seconds, take deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Three, two, one. Now into the sumo squats. Every time you come up, squeeze the glutes. Fifteen seconds left. Keep pushing through. Squeeze your bum each time you come to the top. And time. Perfect. So now we're going to come back down to the floor. And we're going into your standard press-ups again. This time... We're going to do as many full repetitions as we can and as many pulsing reps as we can. If you need to stop, take a quick few second break, try and get down and try to keep going. We've got a one minute time frame and the aim is to try and complete as many repetitions as we can within that time frame. Into position. One minute starts now. Thirty seconds left. Twenty seconds left, guys. It's finished strong. Time perfect. Okay, onto our backs. So we're going to attempt the reverse plank again, but this time we're going to vary it and make it a bit more difficult. So when you hold a reverse plank before a legs are up here, now we're going to incorporate bringing each leg into your chest. Time starts now. Hips up, glutes squeezed, knee in, good. Squeeze your abdominals each time with the leg in. Ten more seconds. And time. Our last move we're going to do today before we do the stretches. We're going to come down into the ISO lunge. Arms extended. We're going to rotate 10 times over that leg 
then we're going to go to the other side and then that'll be the end of the main workout so a little bit of daylight in between your legs left leg forward right leg back arms extended come down stay low and begin one two three four five six seven keep your balance eight nine ten good one to the other side and begin one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and relax perfect oh. okay that brings us up to the end of the main workout have some water we're just going to finish off with some cool down stretches so our first stretch arms up breathing in breathing out coming forward back, reach up and forward again. Good. Left leg in, right leg out, Thank you well in. Legs out wide, bring your arms up, breathing in, breathing out, coming forward. Up again, left side. Okay, lay him on the back, right knee up, left hand goes the outside of your leg, pull across. So your leg moves up to your left. And you look out to the right. Come aside.
brings us up to the end of the session, guys. Excellent training session this morning. We use various different techniques to push the muscle to failure. Guaranteed to be sore for the next few days. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good weekend. See you guys next week. Thank you.